Do you regret joining Everton? No, never. No. Not that well. Why? Because like I said, I've, Everton gave me a big opportunity like to play in Premier League and uh, it's a big team also. And I think I have I have a good time with people working there. I've, I've learned get learn a lot of things in Everton, a lot of things. And to be honest, I didn't regret it. And if I have to do it, if I had to do it again, and if it was yesterday, if I if they sent me everything, I'm gonna like live there. I will do it again. How, how did you feel over the summer when you were told you wouldn't be involved mm -hmm. in in Cumin's plans? You wouldn't be given a squad number. He was his choice. He was his choice, but. Like I said, every turn right now, the most important act I have to focus is in is in like how to maintain early in Premier League, and that's only focus I've got. In this, in when the season is finished, we will think about all these things, what exactly happened. But to be honest, I deal with that easily because I know it's life. Like I said, it's life and it's football, nothing more. You could be forgiven for feeling angry about Everton, but you seem very calm. No, I can't be angry about Everton. Like his life is choice. He made his choice. I'm just have to like to show his then um, that what he pro what he think about me wasn't the real Umar. How did it affect your confidence when you weren't given a, a shirt for the season and, and had to train with in the twenty three? We are a football player. I'm from Africa, and I know like if you wanna really really be a big player, you have to deal with everything. It was difficult, but I have to focus to go to train with the under-23, to play with them every game, travel with them. And I just said then I have to work hard and wait my time. And that time didn't come in Everton, come in Earl City. I have to show them I work hard and this is nothing for me. What was Kuhn's reason for, 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 for his decision? I don't know. I don't know. You, you, you didn't sit down with him? I didn't ask. He just said me what he has to say. I said thank you. That's all. Quite an unusual situation to be to be bought for such a, a big transfer fee at the start of the year. Yeah. And then six months, seven months later, to, to to not be in the club's plans. Like I said, it's just a choice. It's just a choice, and he made his choice. I didn't have nothing to say when someone tell you, you know, in my you know in my like in my plans. So you just have to deal with deal with that. And I just went to training every day, being a professional, and that's all. There's no bitterness towards Kuman, isn't it? No, no way, no way. I don't have nothing with him. Just his choice. Like I can make a choice. It's no good choice. He made the choice. I will have to prove him, and it wasn't good choice. That's all. You have to, you have to show him that his choice was a bad one. Not only him. Yeah. Omar, were you close to joining Paul in the summer? There, there was speculation about you perhaps coming here in the summer. Yeah. Did that come close or? Uh, I've heard it, but. It wasn't real, real. I don't know. It wasn't real interest. I think. Mm. I don't know what happened after, but I was just waiting. Like I've said, I could leave. I couldn't. I could. Oh, um, maybe I've got the opportunity to leave England, but I didn't want. I just wanted to stay in Premier League, and I was waiting for that. That's why the last four or five months, I just like keep focus on what I'm doing with the second team in Everton. Two yeah. years ago, um, Darman Doy came here and scored some important goals mm -hmm. for the Premier League, for, for Hull City in the Premier League. Mm -hmm. Has a similar path to you um, from played in Russia. Mm -hmm. Do you know him? Yeah, I know him very well. Yeah, I know him very well. And uh, before he came here, he, uh, we, we played six, the last six months in Lokomotiv together. And uh, before he came here, we talk about how is how was the team. I think he was in the same situation than today. Mm, it wasn't easy. But like I said, he came and he did what he had to do, and now it's uh, another challenge for me because, like, you not you not have to play with the teams in the first part of the, like, to win for the title or to be in the middle part of the, like, the table. You have sometimes also, like I said, like happened today. I'm in the team that like, I have to fight to help the team to. Stay in primary to the league, and that was the challenge for them. Doing that was also today my challenge. Like I said, I will do my best to help the team. What do you think the long-term future holds for you? 
this we will see after the at the end of the season. It's not the time now. The, the most important things right now is to stay in the Premier League after anything can happen. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.